Hello, chat. Good evening. Tonight is a very special night because it's movie night. We're going to be watching a movie tonight. We're going to be watching The Treasure Planet. Now, you might be wondering, how is he getting away with this on Twitch? Well, I have my ways. So don't even worry about it. I'm just getting the theater set up. There are some important... Oh, that's not going to work. All right, get that out of here. You know what? We don't, we, don't need the whole, we don't need the whole shebang. Let's just get started. Let's head over to the live scene. I'm sure you guys are eager to get started. Or should we wait? Well, you know what? We'll wait a little bit. Let me, let me keep the walking dog going while we, uh, while we chat for a little bit. We'll wait for a few more people to funnel in here. See what's going on. Let me put on the old... Uh, wait, well, this is... Hmm. I don't know. I, we'll just leave the starting soon. Put on the be right back. I don't know. I don't have the camera set up because, you know, having a camera on my face while I'm reacting to things is a little awkward. Hello, Emikins. All right, let me... Where did I put this? It needs to be down here. There we go. I guess we could have, uh, we could have Jeb set up. Let's make sure that the camera is off. What else can we do? There's one more thing that I wanted to get. I wanted to grab this before we started. You just find literally anything would work. This looks promising. Uh... Download. Commercial usage not allowed. Well, screw you. I do what I want. As if I'm, you know, making money out of, out of any of this. Okay, drag that over here. Oh, that's that's a large... It's a very large image chat. Let's give Jeb his little soda here. There we go. Yummy. All right, chat, are you ready? We're going to start the movie very soon. I think I have everything set up. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask if you guys want to chat during the movie. I, I will probably be pausing the movie from time to time to check in and see how everybody's doing. And in case anything super weird happens, you know, it'll it'll be worth it to have the ability to pause the movie. So let's turn off the walking dog. Sorry, walking dog. We love you. Switch to the live scene. And let the film begin. Oh, here we go. It's starting. Ah, this takes me back. What a great time to be alive. Here we go. Hope everybody's got some popcorn and a drink. I cannot read any of that. To Robert Louis Stevenson for something, something, something. Increase the volume a little bit. Make sure the audio is balanced properly. It's kind of quiet, isn't it? I think the movie is just quiet at this part. Oh, I'll be quiet. This is the black hole. This is the black hole. Chat. Okay. I think that was exposition. It was probably really important. So, funny story. I never saw this movie when it came out. So, this is all new to me. Oh, this is trippy. Um, you know, I was a big fan of Atlantis. And I, you know, you guys know my favorite movie is Titan AE. And this came out right around the same time, I think. And I just... It never interested me. Maybe it was something about the art style. He's very strange. Very, very experimental art style. 
And I just... He is really whispering. But yeah, so I just never saw the movie, so this is actually my first time sitting down to watch it. It's really cool that it's uploaded on YouTube. Um, so it's for us to enjoy. Let's go. Very good score. Earth. The earth of my youth. The home of my mm. memories. Memories distorted by time and distance. I struggle to give form to the bewildering parade of sensory perceptions. Alien, yet somehow familiar forms, imperfectly recalled. Hmm. Ooh, look at this thing. This is cool. Wasn't one of the characters voiced by Robin Williams? I think it was. Maybe, maybe we'll see. It was like the, the comic relief or the like obnoxious sidekick character, I think. Now clearly we've only had one character make any noise. Okay, this is... Can we watch this on Twitch? Is this, this alright? Here we go. Again, I am the young Philippe, returning home from the Space Academy. Mm -hmm. Space Academy, right? And I shall encounter the old space pirate, Billy Bones. Billy Bones. Again, for the hundredth time, he will ask if I've seen anyone suspicious hanging around, inquiring about him. Arr, you scared me. Oh, these death. character designs are very have strange. Have you seen any suspicious looking characters hanging around the neighborhood, making inquiries about... Are you expecting someone, Billy? Of course. Why else would I ask? The only really suspicious character I've seen around this neighborhood is you. You son oh, of a space man. serpent, how dare you bandy words with Billy Bones? Listen to me! Now, how much of this is actually from the original novel? I was a bloodthirsty terror of the starry oceans when you were still just a babe in your mother's arms. When I was a young man sailing space with Captain Flint in search of treasure, nothing stood in our way. Hmm. Why, I could tell you stories that would curl your teeth. I could tell you stories that would curl your you teeth, huh? Any, Mr. Bones? What is happening? What? None of your business! Who is Captain Where? Flint, Mr. Bones? Why are we looking at this now? You keep me about? Er, you're not they didn't have any... They didn't have any footage for they them talking. And it's only a matter of time before they get around to me, too! That's come! Captain I think the main character's name is Philippe. Yeah, see, every time robot they cut to his audio, it goes to these weird robot things. What am I saying? You're just trying to catch me off guard, aren't you? Like everyone else, you're hoping you can trick me into betraying the secret I've been protecting all this time. He's got a secret chat. I want to tell you about the map, but my lips are sealed. Map? What map? There's a map? What Mr. the whole Now there's like a ton of these Where things. You, you were talking about a map. Mr. Bones, where are you? That's funny. He disappeared. What are you? He disappeared? Billy? Billy Bones. Oh boy. Where could he have gone? This doesn't make any sense. No wonder this movie didn't do very well. It's so confusing. Yep, they got him. Oh, they got Billy Bones, chat. Oh, here we go. It's this guy. He's like the same face as uh, Billy Bones. Ah, but yes, Billy Bones, I have been sent to serve you with the black spot. <laughs> Unless, of course, you return the map you stole. Map? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, I got sucked into that tiny little ship. It's no use, Billy. You can't escape. I can't even help you now. Scum! You call yourself a friend. It doesn't have to be this way. Just give them the map. You know what it means if I give you the spot. You wouldn't give me the black spot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you don't give me any choice in this. No, I saw Muppet Treasure Island. 
So, well, I saw parts of it. Of the power invested in me by our fellow pirates, I must now present you with I know the there's a scene spot. where he gets the black spot, and I was like, For old time's sake, I'll give you one more chance. Is that important? Man, I'm afraid that's got to be it. Now then, will you hand over Captain Flint's treasure map immediately? All right, all right. Or was he in a wheelchair? I'll give you your bloody treasure map, black dog. And you know what you can do with it. Now you just wait right here. Uh. Okay, Billy. Where's he going? What the hell? Flat. Uh oh. Hundred tons. Give me the black spot, Willie. If they want to serve a death summons on Billy Bones, they'll have to send a far better man than Black Dog. Wait, what? The fools. Hey. I felt a raindrop. Hey. Is he doing it again? Why is he flying into it? You know, this animation you know, reminds me of uh, that Beatles yellow submarine movie. Come on, Billy, cut it out. Billy, where are you? He's getting away on his wheelchair now. We got some disco going, yeah. Oh, he's got a jetpack. This is amazing. He's flying in like iron. Wait, now he's going the. What the heck? What's he doing? It's like they're getting to the edge of the frame and they have to turn around. Like, oh, we didn't draw anything on that side. Turn him around, turn him around. Splat. Meow, 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 meow. And he's... What the hell? Hey, which one's the... Okay, so one of them's Billy Bones, the other one's like Black Dog or something. I'm playing games with you, Black Dog. Boy, that's actually a clever joke. Me this way, so give up. I'll always be one jump ahead of you. Bloop. I kept you hopping, didn't I? <laughs> now are you ready to turn over oh, the no. map? Oh, no. The jumping. All right, Black Dog. Here's your cursed treasure map. This is a bomb. That's right. SpongeBob I didn't moment. Ask you for a bomb, Billy. Oh, they're not pies. They're bombs. Hmm. That statue is a very good likeness. They're from a factory. I think Billy's nose is a little bit longer, though. Wait. Okay, he's supposed to be a statue now. Splat. Billy can't stand being tickled. Now, I wonder if this statue is ticklish. <laughs> Don't be foolish. Statues can't be ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good point. Your hand is ticklish. I'm not ticklish. See? Oh no, the black spot. No. Oh. oh, what did he like? It was a pleasure seeing you again, Billy. Secretly put the, the, black the black spot. I guess that in his hand. We didn't see that part. For the funeral arrangements, which I'll take care of for you. Black Dog, you were my friend. How could you do this? Don't take it personally, Billy. We're still friends. I'll put flowers on your grave every Sunday morning. Oh, no. That's a lot. I'm every doomed, Sunday morning? Doomed. Doomed. Phew. Okay. And here comes Philippe. What's wrong with you, Mr. Bones? Hmm? What's wrong? He's supposed oh, to be dead. Much, unless you count the fact that I'm about to die. Oh, well, about to die. To okay. Her. It's all over for me. I've been given the summons. You mean the black spot of doom? Sheer superstition. Think so? Well, listen. 20 men have died already. And all because of this. Captain Flint's treasure map. A treasure map? Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Maps so, don't right? exist. You're too young to have heard about Captain Flint's fabulous treasure buried on a secret planet. And you have the treasure planet map? This is it, Oh, they said the name of the but it doesn't matter the name of the now. movie. It's too late. They gave me the black spot. Well, that's it, huh? We're some kind of treasure planet. At once. 
I can't believe it. Oh, just watch this. And he's dead. I'll be darned. Oh, he wasn't kidding. It really is a treasure map. I'd better report this to the commander. Quick. Uh oh. Oh, that's unusual. It must be those pirates. Man. You really have to wonder, like, how bad the budget crunch was when they were working on this. Like, I knew that the the late 90s was a... Or, like, the late 1900s. That's weird to say. It's about Treasure Planet. I have the map. Um, it, it was a bad time for a lot of animation studios, but come on. This... This is just bad. Oh, jeez. Okay. And here now we're panning back across the landscape we saw earlier. Just to give some kind of transition between one scene and the next. I like it. B forty nine, B forty nine, B seven. Come in. All right, here's number three. What can I do for you? A haircut. Just a trim. Nothing off the top, and don't touch the sideburns. Okay. I'm not a barber. I'm the space freak commander. Well, what do we have here? It looks like a safe. What a good place to keep a treasure map in. What a good place to keep a treasure map in. Hmm, did you say treasure map? Me? No, I have the slightest interest in buried treasure, nor am I interested in a young cadet named... You Cody. know what this movie reminds no, me of, actually? There was a movie, I think Don Bluth did it. It was about Columbus, Christopher Columbus going to the New World. There was a really obnoxious little termite or woodworm or something. Flat. Well, um, oh, <laughs> splat. That's, um, okay. Next scene. Excuse me. I'd like a hamburger with ketchup and mustard and onions and tomato and lettuce and a chocolate milkshake. Ooh. Is that for here or to go? I'd like to eat it here and take it with me too, if possible. I do like that the, the captain way, is just kind of rolling with it. But does a young man named Philippe with a treasure map ever come in here? Did I hear you say treasure map? Who? Me? <laughs> B49? I think we already called that one. The sound effects are pretty nice. Emikin says this looks like something they would watch on Best of the Worst. Hello there. Yeah, it's crazy to think this was released in theaters. Alright, this is a blind guy. And what do you want, pray tell? Well, what do you suggest? A treasure map? Yeah, I mean, no. Not a treasure map. I haven't even the slightest interest in a treasure map. I wonder, could you tell me the time? I'll be happy to. <laughs> As you can see by my clock, it's 3.15. That's not a clock, it's a barometer. Are you making fun of a poor blind man? I was just testing you. Now, would you mind standing on that red board over there? Hmm, you mean that green board. Sure, I'll stand on it. He's not doing a very good job pretending to be blind, chap. Especially for a blind person. <laughs> okay, I'm standing on it. Now, what do you want me to do? Some of the sound effects are going to be me, by the way. Pretty early in the morning if you're going to try to fool me. All right, here comes our our intrepid uh, protagonist, Philippe. That was a very quick landing. 
Commander Smollett, I have brought the map. Hmm. Aha. Wait, what? Philippe, this is an what authentic is... star map. It shows the exact location of Captain Flint's fabulous trove of buried pirate loot on a secret treasure planet. So that's it, huh? Time to waste. Leap. Some kind of treasure to planet. That treasure before those pirates do. They know we have the map, and they'll be watching our every move. So we must proceed with absolute caution, but with haste as well. We must assemble a crew immediately. I'll be captain, of course. And you can be the cabin boy. Heck. Do you even have a cabin boy? Like, they don't have those on modern ships. Eh, eh, eh. It's Waluigi. Wow. Well, that's... Uh, what the hell? I have come to volunteer my services as your first mate, Commander. And what is your name, my good fellow? I am known as Long John Silver, Commander Smollett. Oh, Long John I Silver. Years of space experience. I love that restaurant. They got good fish. I hereby appoint you first mate of the Hispaniola. At your service, Commander Smollett. <laughs> Very good, then. We have a spaceship. Commander, All right. One spaceship, one commander, one first mate, and, and a cabin boy. Very important. Now is a crew. Just leave that up to me, Commander. I can round up a fine crew in no time, whatever. He's looking. Is that his looking around thing? Wait a minute. Who are these guys? Handsomely done, Long John. They look like an able space crew. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. <laughs> they look like idiots. Attention. Prepare for launch. Is that a, a plot point in the book? Like the captain is a complete moron? And this clearly obviously bad dude shows up with the crew and is like, we'll volunteer our services. And he's just like, hmm, yes, quite. Looks good to me. Oh, here we go. I think Daft Punk did some of the music for this. It's really good. I don't. What is that big bulbousy part? The Hispaniola is a fine ship, okay. soaring through endless stretches of deep space with little effort. It's called the Hispaniola. There's no day or night in space, and the concept of time has little meaning. To us, time is just tedium, as little happens outside the routine. Of our serene sojourn through so many, space. like smudge Vaseline on there. Most of the ship's functions are commanded by infallible computers, and there is little for any of us to do except observe in case something goes wrong. I sometimes wish that something would go wrong, just to break the monotony. Uh, yep, that's definitely future technology. Again, I don't understand what the purpose of the cabin boy is. It seems like engineer number one. Watch the radiation level in the power drive. That's Sir, cabin boy reporting as ordered, sir. Environmental just a weird position on a ship to have, I think. I just checked it yesterday and it's still there, Commander Smollett. All systems reading normal, Commander. <laughs> Computer Ooh. program analyzer number one. Check the whatchamacallit and the thingamajig and report. Okie dokie and hunky dory, Commander. <laughs> Commander's log aboard the starship is fun. It's like Zap Brannigan level commanding skills. Treasure planet. Estimated arrival eight days, four hours, ten minutes, and five seconds. I think they're just shaking the background. Everything they're not even animating it. It's another typical one way to save money, I guess. <laughs> so much for that. Coming, 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 coming. The battery appears to be going dead, Commander. Okay, Philippe. Assemble the crew immediately. Emergency one. Oh boy, here we go. We got a musical number. Beautiful. Very well choreographed. You can just, you can see the pedigree behind the studio, you know? Oh, 
Although I don't understand how this is fixing the ship. Okay, now it's changing tempo a little bit. Man, look at him dance. You know, it's crazy that just a few short years later, they would make Frozen. Well, yeah, a few long years, maybe. And the ship is fixed. We did it. John S. Silver. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Got a, a parrot, as every good pirate should. Plug it in. Wasn't me. Ah, villains, rock scoundrels. Ooh. Hey, can you guys sing Melancholy Baby? The hell, Melancholy Baby? I heard all that singing and dancing around you, scum. Ooh. You're behaving like a bunch of rum sodden sailors. <laughs> now cut that out. Report on the condition of your circuitry. If I Take my wife, please. Shave and a haircut, two bits. Our programs are gone. I have no idea what's You're going on. A magnetic storm. I know that can be rough on bio robots, but I'll make a few adjustments in your circuitry and you'll be okay. Just try to be calm now. It's a simple adjustment. So these guys are robots. Okay. Attention. How much is 3,243,749 multiplied by 9,743,301? 20 went. That's close enough. <laughs> That's Stupid. close enough. If brains were dynamite, you wouldn't have enough to blow your nose, Long John. All right. Which one of you turned that blasted bird back on? <laughs> You don't turn me on, and that's for sure. No. Oh. One of these days, I'm going to have a boiled parrot stew. Uh. Bio robots, pay attention to me now. Program, your job is to get that map from Commander Smollett. Just remember, I am your master, and you are not allowed to take orders from anybody else. There will be no mistakes and no failures. Is that clear? We hear and obey you. By all rights, that treasure is mine. I inherited Captain Flip's command and his treasure as well. It isn't just gold. Whoever owns that treasure can become the master of the whole universe. Wow, that's impressive. Master of the I whole universe. Like the prize, huh? But I have a natural aptitude for the job. I wanted to be master of the universe all my life. <laughs> I've paid a lot of dues yeah, you and, and I both. deserve the job. Now it's up to you. What say you? You can depend on us not to fail you, John Silver. Give me your hand on it. Attention all hands! Attention all hands! Emergency one! Emergency one! We are entering the magnetic storm! Secure your boots oh, magnetic storm! On. It's gonna be a dilly! Now, this is a thing that can happen, presumably in real life, but also in several games. There are magnetic storms and they... Apparently, just set the whole ship on fire. Stand by your post that can't be good. To panic, men. Steady. Oh, oh, wow, Commander, what's happening? Oh. <laughs> Who's that guy? I. There's too much going on. I'm sure this is killing the bit rate. I have no idea. It's now melting the side of the ship. Ooh, weird. The 
changing the ship into something else. Wow. That was weird. Commander, Commander Smaller. Where am I? How did I get here? You, sir, could you help me, please? I don't know where. Or What's that who big I red am? thing on his back? Oh, it's supposed to be a hat. Your name is Jim Hawkins. Oh, Hawkins. And you? I'm Captain Smollett of the Hispaniola, and you're my cabin boy of Treasure Island fame by Robert Louis Stevenson. Welcome to the 17th this century. This is getting a little meta. Now that you know who and where you are, suppose you report back to duty, all right? I I don't understand. I don't understand either. Neither what the heck's I. going I'll on? I'll try to explain it to you. The magnetic storm has thrown us back through the fourth dimension and into oh. the 17th century. We are now existing in another spatial continuum. Oh. I'm sure you'll join me in the devout hope that this is merely a temporary condition. I'm not sure so I this was like a multiverse movie, in like and earth than are dreamt of in early multiverse movie. Uh, Hawkins, sir. Jim Hawkins. Whatever. Oh no! I don't remember this part of the book. Huh? What are those? Yeah, they're fine. Oh, 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 commander, commander. <laughs> Like, Just whatever. Ignore them, you ignore them, they'll go away. <laughs> oh, okay. So they, they also, uh, This is so bad. I'm glad I never watched this movie as a kid. It may have changed my outlook on film in general. Commander, uh, see if these fresh batteries will help. Um. All right, we're getting some anime type anime type content here. I may have seen this one, actually. You guys familiar with Uretsuki Doji? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. Yeah. Oh, they got blood in the movie. That's cool. Also, we haven't quite gotten to Robin Williams' character yet. I don't know when he shows up. I mean, we've met quite a few rope. Maybe he's the parrot? I thought we were just supposed to ignore these things. Oh, good. And he just murdered half the crew. And yeah, the fade out's pretty good. That's a good transition effect. And we're back on the regular ship now, I think. Everything is reforming. And... Attention all hands. Oh, good. Secure all positions. Resume normal operations. Made it through the magnetic storm, chap. Pretty interesting sidetrack we were on there. Philippe, you saved my life. Mm. No, you risked your own life to save mine. Thank you. Philippe. Mm. My friend, I'll devote my life to you. Mm. Uh. All right. Let's get to Treasure Planet already. Come on. We're almost 30, 40, some number of minutes in. I think 30 minutes in. What are we going to do about this? Commander. We have a gang of pirates running our ship. There isn't very much we can do now, Philippe. 
We can't run the ship by ourselves. We'll pretend we know nothing and we'll keep our eyes open, but above all, we must not let that treasure map fall into Long John Silver's hands. Rock Planet Hole! Oh, we made it. We're Treasure Planet. Yes! All hands prepare for touchdown. Secure your positions. Fasten your that just looks like a model. The no light. What the heck? The no smoking. Oh, that's definitely. This is some real mixed media stuff going on here. I don't remember. I thought it was all CG, but I guess there's some like real footage in here that's been added. And you, um, they seem to have smudged out the ship for some reason. Touchdown accomplished. Maybe has a cloaking PM device. Monday, April 4, 2581. The Hispaniola has landed safely on Treasure Planet. Wish us luck. It's like everything's kind of blurry. I'm sure you guys can see that. All right. So, plot Excuse summary. Me, now that we've reached our destination, may I ask what we're looking for? Yes. This is a mineral exploration. Mm. Coal? Oil? Oil? Pick them up. And now with your permission, Commander Smollett, I'll relieve you of the responsibility of that treasure map. You. <laughs> Thank you, well, that, <laughs> that was fast. It for me. <laughs> At last, it's mine. <laughs> and I shall be master of the universe. Well, come on, men. Not so fast, Long John Silver. You still have to reckon with me. What are you talking about? Huh? Hey! Ah, thanks for taking care of it for me, Long John. You dirty bird. Oh, that makes me so mad. All right, you scum. After that parrot and don't come back without it. All right, so the parrot is on the hero side now? In this heavy atmosphere. And I'm not really built for running. Oh, for a taxi. I think this has got to be Robin Williams because he's making anachronistic jokes. I'm just waiting for, I'm waiting for him to do like a movie reference. Ooh. Oh, there it is. He's got the, uh, the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland thing. He's late for a very important date. I thought he was trying to get away. Also, I'm noticing the numbers on their chest are mirrored. Like they drew them one way and then literally just flipped them. To, uh, to have them looking the other way. Bravo! Congratulations! Thank you. You came in second. And on behalf of the entire judging committee, I'd like to present you with a token of our esteem. Please limit your acceptance speech to one minute. I just don't know what to say. I just want to thank all the little people who made this honor possible. It was a delayed audio chat. Don't worry. Now then, I'll trouble you for my treasure map. Okay. Right on target. You refugee from a badminton game, hand over that treasure map right now. <laughs> refugee from a badminton game because he's a birdie get it well wait is that right i thought it was called a shuttlecock This whole thing is just It's like a fourth wall breaking slapstick I think we have a problem something Whoa no So he fired his laser or energy weapon and now he's melted the rocks and now they're surrounded by lava This is 
Definitely a movie. All right, what is happening here now? Oh. They're really dragging out the transformations here. So what, uh... When do you have another one? It looks kind of like a Skarmory. Which, if you don't know, is a Pokemon. Like if Skarmory was a fire type. Time for another musical segment. It's a tough life being a cartoon character. Yeah. Why couldn't I get a nice situation comedy? It was our greed and our lust for power that got us into this situation, you know. And this is more than I bargained for. Those fiery monsters must have been trained to protect Captain Flint's treasure. Hmm. Commander Swathert, help us! I'll share the treasure with you 50-50! Commander, what are we gonna do? I know! Let them die! Deploy the mobile automated laser guns! Nothing can stand up against them! Mobile automated laser guns. They don't look very mobile, and they don't look like laser guns. I guess we'll see. They're kind of just... Oh, okay, I see. Okay, they come out of the top. Out of top. You know what this is really reminding me of? Um, Ralph Bakshi. Like that era of, of animation. Kind of a throwback, you know? Cease firing immediately. Hmm, the laser energy is causing the monsters to multiply. The lasers are having no effect. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait just a minute, Commander. Excuse me, but the crew's still out on the surface. And they'll all be held away. Don't worry, the monsters will be held away too. The crew will be perfectly safe. They'll be held they away. To prevent those monsters from taking over the ship. All right, let's see how that works. I didn't come this far just to be foiled and frustrated. <laughs> you hear me? I've come for Captain Flint's treasure and I'm not leaving without it. If you come near the treasure, you shall die. Ooh, oh spooky. Gosh. It's Nebuchadnezzar! It's Nebuchadnezzar! Oh, oh my god, it's Nebuchadnezzar. Of a rotten egg. <laughs> it is him. Tell me, John. Who is this Nebuchadnezzar? He's an invincible computer robot placed here by Captain Flint. Obviously, he's the one responsible for those monsters. You mean they're controlled by a computer? Right. By Nebuchadnezzar. He irradiates the lava and creates the fire monsters in it. And then he controls their movements by generating electromagnetic energy. He's all... Oh, of course. If you don't know <laughs> the secret code, you will die. Of course. That's it. The secret code. What do you mean? We can make Nebuchadnezzar obey us if we give him Captain Flint's secret code. He's programmed to take orders from anybody who's able to give him Captain Flint's secret command. Of course. What is the command? It was a musical command. Something like this. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest, yo- No, that's not it. Let me see. What was that? Ah, uh, nuts! Three! I'm sorry, Commander, but I flunked music appreciation. They said I was tunefully retarded. Oh. Are you positive the secret command is a musical one? Uh, yeah. I remember Can't that. use that word anymore, was champ. Was Captain Flint fond of opera? Was he ever? He was so crazy about opera, he drove us batty. Giuseppe Verdi was his favorite. Morning, noon, and night, that's all we ever heard day after day. Giuseppe Verdi, Giuseppe Verdi. That's it. Of course, Giuseppe Verdi. I'll bet it's the quartet from Giuseppe Verdi's well-known opera titled Nebuchadnezzar. It's worth a try anyway. Let's sing it. Fortunately, everybody knows it. Let's go. Welcome to Opera Night, chat. Hope you like opera.
This is such a weird turn of events for a children's film. Maybe more kids knew about opera back then. I know I didn't. The most I ever knew about opera was part of Carmen because of Hey Arnold. All right, so Nebuchadnezzar here is gonna... He seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> they all just know it. And they're all dead. Goodbye, security system. It is easily fool fooled by opera. Yeah, it's weird that there's a Our whole planet. These crystal mountains. They were his favorite hideout. It has some kind of treasure on it. Commander Smollett is helpless as long as I have the boy. Okay, so we're So that's what happened to Pew. He's lucky. He wound up in Flint's laboratory. Wait, what? What's that up ahead, Long John? <laughs> That's Boot Hill. Boot Hill. <laughs> but those are hats. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why do you call it Boot Hill? I don't see anything oh. but hats. Oh, uh, well, you know Captain Flint. He always had a twisted sense of humor. Yeah, they're just admit, he was always great fun at parties. They're though. just hanging a lampshade on it. Like why is it called Boot Hill? Captain Smollett's following us, Long John. Turn the boy loose and you can have the blasted treasure. He means business, John. Commander, try to hit the robot's computer control module. It's in his head. Don't worry, boy, I'll get him. Nebuchadnezzar, protect yourself. Loop. It's such a weird... So think of all the, the mecha anime that were coming out at this time. Your Gundams and your mech warriors. That's not an anime. And then compare the animation. Like, I don't think robots are very conducive to the squash and stretch style of anime. Unless it's a comedy, which I guess this technically is. So, yeah, just don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a comedy. Uh, okay. Nab, Nabo, Naboko. You listen to me, Commander Smollett. If you don't want this boy's throat cut, you hand that treasure map over to me right now. I have the map here. Bring the boy to me and I'll give it to you. Impossible! The commander's on top of both those mountains at once! I'm, I'm waiting, waiting, Long John, John Silver. As soon as, soon as you bring, bring Philippe, Philippe to me, the, the treasure, treasure map, map is yours. What's this? There's two of him! How am I supposed to know which one I should choose? I guess I'll just flip a coin. <laughs> okay, it's the one on the left. No, All right. the left one's a fake! <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead! Nobody listens to me. I tried to warn you. You'll be sorry, Long John. All right, sir. How long? I know he, the the beat, parrot so was on this guy's map. side. The, the good guy's You're side. Smart man, Commander Smollett. <laughs> the treasure is mine at long last. 
Uh, let's see now. Where did Flint bury it? Hmm. No, no. The whole thing was just an optical illusion. Is this what you were looking for, Long John? I wonder how the commander pulled that one off. <laughs> understand how the whole illusion works oh i thought so it's nothing more than a visual echo of my real image it works like a mirror a visual echo 3d commander small it's pretty smart he found the exact spot where there's an optical echo as well as a sonic one all long john so stupid that's pretty good <laughs> when do they go in the black hole i want this whole movie to go into a black hole I'm not gonna give up that easy, though. The battle's just begun. I have a plan, boys. Follow me. <laughs> All right, Long John Silver has a plan. Let's see what happens. Don't be alarmed by anything you see, Philippe. They're only optical illusions. Creepy. Ooky. They're 3D holographs set up to scare us away from the treasure. They're working, Commander. <laughs> I'm scared. It's working. We're almost there, lad. All right, we're almost to the treasure, chat. Just ignore them. We could just get to the oh. treasure. So where do we Maybe go then the movie here, will be over. We take the anti-gravity elevator. Of course. Dead men tell no tales. Foolish, foolish back. No, no one, one who enters way. here ever gets out. Ooh. More optical illusions, right, sir? No, actually, those happen to be real visions. <laughs> those are real. Oh, Medusa. Oh. Is this part of the optical illusion? Oh, here we go. They're like weird siren frog ladies. They're trying to tempt him, I guess. I don't know. Free treasure. Oh, yeah. oh, this reminds me of from um, the Star Wars Holiday Special when Grandpa is watching the like VR porn. Oh, it was the Medusa the whole time. <laughs> it's like Zap again again. I find the most erotic part of a woman is the boobies. Bust out that they should have got the lasers out a long time ago, chat. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. Oh, there is the treasure. Finally, we're like an hour in, and they've just now gotten to the treasure from Treasure Planet. Commander. Hmm. Yes, Philippe. It's quite an awesome sight. All right. Excuse me, Commander. Don't be in such a hurry. Thanks for leading me to my treasure. Silver, get out of here if you value your life at all. Get out of here right now, Silver, or I'll blast your head from your shoulders. No need to threaten me, Commander. I've no desire to remain here with you any longer, but if you don't mind, I'll take my treasure with me and I'll leave you here to keep Captain Flint's ghost company. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no! 
He dropped the whole treasure chamber on them, chat. He won't us in. We'll never get out of here. Oh no, chat. They're trapped. Ah, that's it, Commander. You set off the mechanism that opens the trap door. Ah. Mm hmm. Hmm. I better let you go first, Philippe. Try to head off Long John Silver. Kith, I'll let you go first. Scout out the area and report back if there's any danger. Okay. So we have a sewer level now. This just keeps on going. And it's not like it made any sense before. Oh no, they got away with the treasure. It's too late to try and catch them now. The Hispaniola is on its way back home and we've been left marooned on Treasure Planet. Marooned on Treasure Planet. I've lost count of the days we've been marooned here. It's, it's been, been four gone. hours. The commander hasn't spoken a word. He just brood, staring into space. The silence is broken only by the whimpering of the parrot, whose batteries are running low. There's nothing we could do except wait for the end to come. Whoa, something's ah, happening. A ship, ship's coming in! It's the Hispaniola! your service, Commander Smollett. That black dog, I wonder what happened. The ship and the treasure are all yours, Master Philippe. It was the very least I could do for you, lad. You saved my life when those electromagnetic monsters were about to do me in. I caught Long John and the others off guard and I locked them up in the brig. You never made I would have liked like to see that scene. Robot. No. You made me feel human, and I appreciate it. Black Dog, you're more than human. Commander Smollett, I'm happy to report the Hispaniola is shipshape and ready. We can blast off at any time, sir. Come aboard and assume your command. You may prepare for immediate liftoff. Destination, Earth. All right, we're going to Earth. Let's go. Earth is awesome. Except in this movie. I kind of like Wally -E vibes. No diamonds, no platinum, gold, or silver, but something far more precious. It is a modern Noah's Ark. When nature began to die and give way to concrete and steel, Flint gathered up all the natural wonders of Earth, distilled them, and sealed them inside this great artificial jewel. Wow. I can only imagine the wonders it contains. Because by the time I was born, nature had disappeared from Earth, and I had never seen it. I had heard stories about grass, flowers, trees, and such. Ugh, I heard about grass. Birds, butterflies, forests filled with beautiful animals of all descriptions. And as I gazed at Flint's treasure, I wondered if the stories were true. And if someday I would actually see the precious gifts of nature supposedly preserved inside the jewel. Fire! The ship's on fire! Oh no! How could this have happened? Help! Everything's falling apart! The ship's on fire. Okay. So the pirate captain. Black hole. His treasure. Yeah, we're falling into a black hole. That explains the fire. Treasure planet, you villain. That was my one big mistake. No, your one big mistake was in defying me. That treasure belongs to me, and if I can't have it, nobody can. Oh no. Oh no. He's dead. Uh... Oh. 
Now Long John Silver is also dead. So the, the pirate captain, his treasure was like two of every animal and plant and stuff. It's like a terraforming kit. Weighs 450 pounds? How are they lifting it? Also, what part of the ship are we in? The treasure? I had to make a choice because the escape capsule couldn't carry both, and I had to decide immediately. There was no choice. The treasure would restore the glory of Earth. Compared to that, my life was nothing. Yeah, but. If the world sucks now, just planting animals and stuff on it's not going to fix everything, you know? I stayed aboard what was left of the Hispaniola, and honoring an ancient tradition, I went down with the ship. Down. Down into the black hole. Into an alien dimension of time and space, from which there is no escape. No escape. No escape. No escape. Wow, they really went into a black hole. I guess that was mentioned at the beginning. Alright, let's see the miracle. I'm ready to see the... Ready to see the miracle. Let's go. Regeneration and rejuvenation have arrived. Long life to you, my beloved Earth. Again, it's like Wally, -E, right? Here comes the life. Although I am a little concerned about the humans currently living on Earth. I guess they're not important in the grand scheme of things. Neither of those viaducts. Those aren't important. Get rid of those. Roads? Nobody need. You don't need roads. Yeah, get rid of that. Um, it's supposed to be a robot? Oh, yeah, I think it, it looks mechanical. Oh, there we go. Yep, just like Wally. -E. Oh, here comes the life, chat. Wow, it's um uh cartoon characters? California raisins? Uh weird monsters? Yeah, what the heck? Ooh. Crocodiles. Uh, maybe those are peacocks. Uh, giraffes. Mickey Mouse. Very important that we get him. Pretty good music though, good song choice. Where'd Mickey Mouse go? Oh no. He disappeared, chat. That's so sad. All right, who's responsible for this? That guy right there. I can't read any of this. All right, all right. There you go, that's the movie. Well, that wasn't very good. No wonder they didn't want to put that out. It's terrible. All right, let's learn a little more about the movie before we wrap it up for the night. Da, 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 da. 
Wait, Brian Cranston was in this? Hold on, that can't be right. That's a joke, right? That Brian Cranston was in this? Brian Cranston. Wait. There's no way that was Brian. Brian Cranston was the was the Philippe? No, that's that's a joke. Come on. That's made up. Well, I'm I'm looking this up right now, chat. Let me put on the music. Okay, all right, all right. Um check IMDB. So let's get some let's get some information here. So we got Billy Bones was Mike Reynolds. Joe Perry was number two, number three in the parrot. Robert V. Barron was Long John Silver, Black Dog, number one, and Captain Flint's Ghost. But it doesn't say hold on, let me turn this down a bit. No, that that's right, that's right. It doesn't say who played the leap. Who the heck is Pew? Am I, I'm looking at the right IMDB page, right? Hold on, let me let me bring it over to the main to the window so you guys can see. We'll be right back. I have to reorient everything. Change this to that. Hold on, hold on. I'm like confusing myself now. Get that out of here. We almost got a chat, don't worry. There we go. All right. All right. So we're on IMDb here. So the director was Rumen Pet uh, Petkov, written by Boris Angelov, Yosef Peretz, and Robert Louis Stevenson, who wrote the original novel Treasure Island. Then we have Robert Axelrod, Robert Barron, Robert V. Barron, Robin Levinson, Joe Perry, Mike Reynolds, and Tom Weiner. I don't know where people are getting this idea that Brian Cranston was somehow involved in this. Let's let's take a look. All cast and crew. Yeah, no, I there's no Brian Cranston on here. I think that's a meme. We'll just we'll ignore that. Let's see what the director went on to do. He went on to do Ah Real Monsters. Is that and the Loud House? He did 46 episodes of the Loud House from 2015 to 2018. He did the Hey Arnold Jungle movie. He was the animation director. Did an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. He did he was the sheet timer, which I'm sure is a very important job in animation. John and, uh, Tom and Jerry blast off to Mars. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. The new Woody Woodpecker show. Mike, Lou, and Og. Okay, hold on. This is what the heck is Mike, Lou, and Og? A foreign exchange student interacts with the inhabitants of a deserted island. It's clearly not deserted if there's people living on it. I am Weasel. I remember that one. I remember Cow and Chicken. Uh, I know Dexter's Lab. He did one episode as animation director. Did Ah Real Monsters. Did 13 episodes as a checker. Duckman. Private Dick slash Family Man. Bobby's World, which uh, older people, if you're watching this, might be familiar with. And 
finally a bunch of other stuff. What did he do direct directors on? Directed some episodes of Dexter's Lab, some episodes of Johnny Bravo. OK Text, that's a short. So yeah, basically everything from Johnny Bravo down is going to be older stuff. An art director. Yeah, so he hasn't done any art directing since the short he did in 1990. But hey, The Loud House, that's a that's a pretty popular show, or at least it was. Well, that's the movie, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was what you expected. If not, um, too bad. If you want to watch this, I'll drop the link in chat. So let me just copy that. Paste it into chat here. If you want to watch it yourself, jump around, find some memeable content. And with that, I think we're going to wrap it up early tonight because that was basically all I had and the movie's only an hour long. But if uh, you're interested in more movie nights, let me know. I'll have to find stuff that we can watch legally, or at least not illegally. Stuff that we're not going to get hit for, or dinged for by Twitch and or YouTube. And there are some, there's some, uh, it's not open source, non-copyrighted material out there that you can just broadcast. And if I, you know, if I know what I'm looking for, I can find it. All right. Well, that's it. Have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow.